People say less is more. At Red Barn, we think less is better. It's what you won't find that sets our natural premium pet food apart. No byproducts, no corn or soy, no fillers. Just the natural ingredients your pets need to live the healthy life they deserve. Look at the label. We want you to. Red Barn Naturals Pet Food. Simply the best. Find it in your local pet specialty store. Visit redbarninc.com slash coupon to save a dollar off your first can. Blog Talk Radio. Uh, you know what time it is. Time to hang out hey, with Mr. Cool. With Mr. Koopa. With Mr. Koopa. With Mr. Koopa. Get the latest cool. From Mr. Koopa. From Mr. Koopa. From Mr. Koopa. Hey, with Mr. Koopa. 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 Get the latest cool. From Mr. Koopa, from Mr. Koopa. All right, guys, welcome to the Bit Scoop with Coop. I'm your host, Coop. Today is the official season three of the Bit Scoop with Coop. We had great shows on season one, spectacular shows on season two. Season three, we're starting this thing off with a bang, guys. So everybody, go tell your family, tell your friends, tell your associates to tune in to blogtalkradio.com forward slash the Bit Scoop with Coop. Um, they can catch us on iTunes, TuneIn Radio, Stitcher, Blueberry. It'll take forever for me to name everywhere they can find this show. Um, just Google the show if you can't find it. But, um, guys, enough about that. Let's talk about today's guest. Um, today's guest, she has been in the movie and television industry since she was a young child. Um, she has done big things, guys, and I'm not going to spoil everything for you because she's going to name some of the stuff she's done, but she's appeared in stuff like The Secret Life of the American Teenager, Grey's Anatomy, Anatomy excuse me, Criminal Minds, and, of course, everyone knows her from the Bernie Mac show. Ladies and gentlemen, the one, the only, Camille Winbush. Welcome to the show. Hey, thanks for having me. Hey, of course, anytime. How's your day today? Oh, it's been good. Thank you. Yes, yes, yes. And um, before we get into the show, Camille, um, I saw a tweet that you did um, probably a few days ago, and I'm not going to tell you what you said in the tweet. I'm going to see if you remember this, because I will tell you what happened to me earlier today. Um, Earlier today, I went into a restaurant, and I saw a child standing in a chair, and she took a French fry, and she tried to pick it up. She had to be about three years old. She tried to pick it up, and she rubbed the fry on the table. And picked it up and ate it. And the parents just sat there and looked at her like it wasn't nothing. And your tweet came in my mind about when you said, why do they actually put the chairs on top of the table where they're eating it? Oh, and, yeah. and that kind of got to me. What made that come to your mind when you actually sent that tweet out? <laughs> um, you know, I'm always thinking about random things and sometimes I just like to tweet it and put it out in the universe to see if somebody can come up with a logical answer for my question or you know help me make sense of things but I just I see it all the time and I'm always like huh that's strange like that doesn't seem sanitary to me (laughs) exactly and and like I said you popped right in my mind when I saw it because I actually replied back to your tweet and um I got to remember what I said on the tweet, but I said something. I was like, it was basically there was really no answer to that question. Why do people do that? And it, and now it makes me look at things a different way now when I see stuff because of that one tweet. And you got that permanently in my mind now. But um, Camille, I got to <laughs> let you know on this show, we always talk about how you started in your career, your success give advice how to get into your career, and many other things. But we always start from the beginning, Camille. When did you realize that you wanted to become an actress? Well, I actually never did say, oh, I want to be on TV. Um, I started acting when I was two years old, and it was just by chance because I was sitting in the audience of one of my cousin's talent shows, and my former manager saw me there, and they thought I was a cute kid, and they came up to my parents and asked if they had ever wanted to put me, you know, in the entertainment business. And they thought, well, we can just give it a try and see what happens. And I ended up booking jobs and 
it just turned into a career from then on. Wow. And you've had one heck of a career. No, I'm sorry. It's not had because you're not even far from over. Nowhere soon. You're having a one heck of a career because you have done, like I said a while ago, you have done a lot of things, Camille. And I applaud you on what you have done from Bernie Mac to, like I said, um, Grey's Anatomy. You showed up up there. Um, it's a lot of list. I mean, the list can go down for what you've done. And I just want to say, and you even won awards, but we're going to talk about that later on also. But I just want to actually just say thank you again for what you've done in this industry because you have done a lot. And I think you have a lot, you've shown a lot of females that, hey, this can be done. And I think you actually paved the way for a lot of people wanting to do, you know, work in this industry. So I just want to say thank you for that. Oh, well, thank you for yeah. acknowledging all of that. <laughs> of course. Definitely, of course. Now, we said, like you just said, you started off, you was two years old. They actually saw you um, at your cousin's talent show and everything. Let's fast forward a little bit now. Um, when you start actually getting your shows and your movies in, you was getting bookings, and you actually done some television shows, and you've done some movies, but is it easier for you to prepare to act? for television or is it easier for you to prepare to act for a movie? Uh, I mean, it depends on the character and what's going on in that particular script. Mm -hmm. But usually for TV, you're playing the same character over an extended period of time. So you have a good idea of who that, character is and how they would react to certain things so I feel like it's easier to develop a sense of familiarity over time with TV Right. but sometimes you can do that with a movie it just you know you have to be a little quicker about it Um, but really I think it just depends on that particular character and the scenario Wow. Wow. That's great. That is great. And that is so true, too, because um, I've actually been in two movies and about to work on the third one that I'm actually about to be in. And I haven't had the privilege yet to actually be in a television show. But I can just imagine, you know, being with a television program, you know, you're in the same character. You actually get more familiar. And I guess you could say you and the character becomes one to a certain extent. I guess it's safe to say. Compared to, you know, in the movie, hey, you never know it's going to be, is it going to be a trilogy coming out or what? Are you going to be coming back? Or are you going to be doing this and doing that? So I kind of see where you're coming from on that. So, and it seems like it's really a smooth transition for you for whatever you do. And I mean, I applaud you on that because I've seen some actors and actresses that's actually done movies and done television, but it seems like they struggle in one era area compared to the next but with you it's like it's just smooth selling regardless of what you do and i would love to know your secret how in the world do you do that but i mean you just (laughs) get out there and it's like you're having fun and it's all natural to you regardless of what you do movies or television so um what i was telling people also earlier on the show um some of the shows that you actually been in and movies but i want you to name them can you name some for the people that's new to you and they must have been living under a rock but if they're new to you <laughs> can you tell them some of the television shows that you actually been in um in let's see i was on seventh heaven back in the day um hanging with mr cooper mm-hmm. uh let's see i was on the norm show um Oh, I was on um, ER and Grey's Anatomy. Um, whew, I'm trying to think of. <laughs> <laughs> well, shoot, that that's enough, Camille. I mean, I think everybody that's listening live right now, worldwide, you all hear this, you hear her resume, and I mean, she can keep naming. She's done so much, she can't remember all of them. So that's cool. <laughs> yes, that's definitely cool. So um, right now, Camille, are you? Um, can we expect you in anything else anytime soon? Are you actually got any future projects coming up that you can talk about? Well, I did a movie 
Um, it's called Everything But a Man with Monica Calhoun, and it's still in post production, so I don't have a release date yet. Okay. But um, when that does come out, definitely check it out. You know, um, it was a fun, different character for me to play. And I think it's a good movie with a, a good message. So I'm looking forward to that coming out and seeing people's reactions to it. Um, other than that, you know, it's pilot season, so I'm out here That's in, true. in L.A. auditioning, and I'm just hoping to be on TV again. Ha. And I think everybody's looking forward to seeing you. Ladies and gentlemen, and everybody that's listening right now, make sure you do go check out that movie, Everything But a Man. Um, like she said, it's going to be it's, – it's a good message behind it. Make sure you check it out. Tell your family, your friends, your associates, hey, tell your haters. They'll become your friends after they watch the movie. <laughs> <laughs> so make sure. Make sure you actually go check this out, guys. So I'm definitely going to watch it myself, Camille. So I want you to make sure you give me a reminder when it's actually about to drop. So I want to make sure I, I can will. Check. Thank you. Yes, yes. And um, in L.A. right now, I know it's pretty warm out there. Now, usually around this time in L.A., cause I know I'm on the other side of the world, well, other side of the United States. I'm in North Carolina. So it's about 4 o'clock in your time. So around this time in L.A., um, do you see a lot of fellow actors and actresses walking around or in certain places that you usually go to? Um, do you usually see them and interact with them? Um, I mean, out here, everybody's an actor, so. <laughs> true. Very true. You know, but I mean, you see people at auditions that you've, you know, worked with over the years or even just seen at auditions and you become familiar with their face through that. Mm -hmm. um, but yeah, you see people everywhere out here. It's a big city, but it's a small town. And believe it or not, Camille, that's one city I've never been to yet. I've never been to L.A., but I told myself, really? I, have, I really, I have family in L.A., but I have not been yet, and I told myself, I have to come down there, or well, over there, actually. I have to come over there, and I have to check it out for myself, because there's been some actors and actresses that's been on my show in the past, and they're in L.A. and everything, and, you know, I'm hearing great things, and also, I heard it's a very busy city at the same time, so, you know, I always want to check it out. And I'm going to actually make sure I take a trip down there. And when I do, Camille, I'm going to make sure I hit you up to let you know I'm there. So, Oh, yes, please do. You. I will give you a list of places to eat. That's what I'm talking about. And I can do that. I'm from North Carolina. <laughs> so, you know, we're in the country. So I can definitely do that. Yes. Um, let's oh, fast yeah. Forward. Oh, yeah. Let's fast forward a little bit. Now, when you were younger and, you know, you tried out for the Bernie Mac show and you actually received the part. So how excited were you? when you found out you received a part on the Bernie Mac show? Well, when I first auditioned for the show, I was too young to know who Bernie was at the okay. time. You know, I was only 10 years old when I auditioned for I it. Remember. So I hadn't seen the Kings of Comedy or any of that stuff. Um, but after I had, you know, gone on a few of auditions and had some callbacks and met him and, we just vibed so well together. Um, I really started getting excited and hoping that I booked it. And then when I found out that I did book it, I was just ecstatic. Nice. Nice. Now, talking to right now Camille. Camille, if you met your other side of you, Vanessa Tompkins, if you met Vanessa, how would you describe Vanessa? Oh, um, are you all one of the same, really, or do you feel that way, or do you feel, or do you feel like she, you're a different person when you played the role of Vanessa compared to being yourself off the camera? I mean, she is probably total opposite of me, but there are parts of her that came from my, you know, personal character. Um, but for the most part. She's nothing like me. She is angry, and she's been through so much at a young age. You know, she had a hard childhood, and she's mouthy. Oh, yeah. <laughs> you know, I, I'm i very careful. You know, I watch what I say around certain people 
and she doesn't care. Vanessa would just say whatever to whoever. <laughs> and that actually showed on a lot of episodes. And that's and I know I sound like a broken record, but you played that part naturally. It it just came through, and it just like it flowed for you. And I mean, I was just very shocked, you know, that you can jump from the Bernie Mac show and then have your character on Grey's Anatomy and have your character on Seventh Heaven and just keep jumping around. And I'm surprised all these personalities is not like uh, polluting your head. I mean, you're actually still keeping a calm, cool head. And I've known some characters, well, some actors, I hate, I'm sorry for calling them characters. I know some actors Mm -hmm. that for some reason, when they play a certain role, they actually become that person even when the camera is off. And I'm like, sometimes I ask myself, do you really know who you are? And, I mean, I want to ask them so bad, but I don't. I just keep my mouth shut. I'm like you. I watch what I say around certain <laughs> people. But I've seen that. But you, I mean, you keep a calm, cool head. And it's like it doesn't matter what you do. You can do it and still remember who you are. So that's that's really cool right there. It definitely is. Now, um, let, let's play a little game real quick now, Camille. If you could choose any television show, it doesn't matter what show, past, present, or if you have to make up a show for the future to become a regular on or a star in for any type of show or movie, what type of show would it be or what show would it be or what movie would it be? Ooh, um, Okay. For a show, mm-hmm. I would love to do something along the lines of Scandal. Ooh. Yeah. Um, I can see that. Yeah, something like that. And then as far as a movie, it would be really cool to play a superhero, you know, like become part of the Marvel Universe, something like that. Nice. Nice. Miss Washington, if you're listening to the show, you heard her. She wants to actually have a part like that. I think you need to bring her on the show so she can have a spinoff for herself. So, I'm Yeah, Olivia to needs a little sister. You know what I'm saying? Exactly. I mean, that would be a great time <laughs> for that to pop up out of the blue. So that would actually be great. So I'm actually voting for that just to let you know. And um, I think we need to start a petition for that, Camille. What do you think? Hey, I'm with it. I'll be the first signature on there. <laughs> <laughs> All right. I, I feel you on that one. I definitely do. Now, um, let's talk about outside of television for a second, for the roles that you've done. You have actually have won a lot of awards. So let's talk about some of these awards that you've won. Would you like to tell them, tell people the awards you've actually received and you've been nominated for also in your lifetime? Well, I have won three Image Awards, NAACP Image Awards, for Outstanding Supporting Actress in a Comedy. Um, I won that three years in a row, actually, for the Bernie Mac show. Yeah. Um, I won a Young Artist Award for the Bernie Mac show. Um, The show itself won an Emmy. Mm -hmm. Mm-hmm. I've been nominated for a PRISM Award and um, People's Choice Award. So it's been some, some nice accolades over the years. Hey, that's cool. That's definitely cool. Now, talking about the Bernie Matt show, um, have you ran into, like, um, Jeremy or Dee Dee lately or Khalid or anybody? Um, I've kept in touch with them through the years. We don't see each other as often now. Because you know everybody's so busy and working, and Dee Dee lives in Chicago, um, oh. but we do keep in touch. And I saw Kalita a few weeks ago at a, a party, so that was nice to run into her. And cool. you know, we had a good laugh because we were standing at the bar together, and she was like, "Oh, you old enough to party with me now?" <laughs> <laughs> wow! I think she had a flashback on you, Camille. <laughs> <laughs> Nice. That's that's what's up. And I want to say also congratulations on all of the awards that you've won. And Camille, I'm speaking this ahead of time and because I'm going to do that because I know what's going to happen. These are not your last awards that you're going to win. So I just want to let you know straight up, 
I got a feeling there's way more coming to you. So be prepared for it. Well, thank you for putting that out into the universe, and I hope the universe is listening. Oh, trust me, they are. They are, and it's going to happen. <laughs> by hook or by crook, it's going to happen. I feel it. Yes. Now, <laughs> on on the Bernie Mac show, um, how was the atmosphere behind the scenes? When the cameras are off, when everybody was together, how was the atmosphere? Oh, man, it was like my second family. I was with the cast and crew five days a week for five straight years. So they, yeah, they were, I saw them sometimes more than my own family. So they, we were all very close. Um, We all looked out for each other. We had fun together. It just felt like a big family reunion every week. Nice. Now, when the cameras are on, and I know you all are acting, but in the back of your mind, do you ever say to yourself, this could be my family, my real family. This could really, if if it had to push come to shove, this could really take place in my family. Could you? Did you ever say that? Um, there were definitely in, in some, you know, some situations where I was like, right. wow, this, this is my life, you know. Nice. Um, so, yeah, I think art imitates life for sure. Okay. Okay. Well, big shout-outs to everyone from the Bernie Mac show. Um, you guys, if you all are listening right now, big shout-outs to you all. I know you all doing big things. Um, you all have made noise in the television industry. You all have made noise in the movie industry. And, yes, I'm even speaking about Camille also while she's on this show. Um, big shout-outs to everyone from there. You all – um, you all took a lot of my time. I'm not going to lie to you. I sat down in front of the TV a lot watching the Bernie Mac show, and I still go on, well, I went on Netflix and rewatched majority of those episodes again, and I tried my best to, like, push it out of my mind, like, I didn't know what was going to happen next, but I still <laughs> enjoyed it. I really did. That's, like, one show that you can really watch over and over again, and you still can get a laugh, because you'll probably see something or hear something that you didn't realize that you saw or heard the first time you saw it. So I still love the show, Camille. I want to thank you and the cast for actually being on that show because that's the great, I think all of you all came together and collaborated perfectly. So thank you for that. I loved it all. Thank you. I mean, we all had a great time doing it and I actually still go back and will watch episodes of the show and, I will see things that I don't remember, you know, from back when we filmed it, or I'll hear a joke or something that didn't resonate with me the first time, but now, you know, it's just hilarious to me. So it is fun to go back and watch. Well, it should be because, you know, when you started in season one, I mean, like you said, I think you was 10 years old, correct? In season one. Yeah. Yeah, and I mean, some of the things that were said now – you can appreciate more because you have a better understanding of it. And that's even beyond season one. I mean, there's a lot of stuff you can catch on to. And like I said before, that's one show you can always go back and watch and actually enjoy. And I may actually turn on Netflix later on tonight and watch me a few episodes also. So I'm actually thinking about doing that. (laughs) (laughs) Yes. Now, can you tell everyone that's listening live right now, um, all over the world, um, tell everybody about a time that you'll never forget that happened on the Bernie Mac show um, that nobody saw on camera. Well, we, the cast and the crew, we all used to think of crazy things to do to keep ourselves entertained. So in one episode, Vanessa and Jordan are in the kitchen and Vanessa dares Jordan to eat 50 cups of pudding, and he tries to do it and gets sick. So the crew thought it would be a funny idea to actually have a competition to see who could really do that in one hour. So there was about five or six different crew members, and they all, you know, they had one hour to eat 50 pudding cups, and, of course, nobody did it. (laughs) What was the largest number that was eaten? Uh, that was eaten. Um, Do you remember? I want to say estimate? maybe like thirty, thirty-five, somewhere around there. But 
as expected, everybody that was in that competition went home early that day. <laughs> I bet so. <laughs> and probably spent the time in the bathroom for the rest of the day to that night. <laughs> so, yeah. Oh, yeah. I definitely can see that. I'm not going to lie, Camille. If I was on the show and you all betted that, now, I'm a person that loves to eat. But I think I would have stepped away from that challenge. I just would have been called a punk <laughs> or whatever. It wouldn't have happened for me. No. I couldn't you even know, die. No, that would have been a wise decision. <laughs> yes, yes. Now, as far as it goes for your movie and your television career, what is your ultimate goal? in the movie and television industry? Um, you know, honestly, I don't like to set specific goals because mm-hmm. you never know what can happen in life. And if for some reason that goal ends up not being met, then you might feel like a failure or incomplete. So I don't like to set target goals, but... I will say that I would just like to continue working, you know, whether it be in movies or television, in roles that are memorable. Okay. Okay. And I believe that's going to actually happen. I see that coming. So, um, like I said, you have this movie that's in post-production that's actually about to drop. Um, I believe that's going to actually be way more that's going to actually be coming for for you. So, I understand about not setting goals, so that's a great thing um, because I believe when you look back on your career from where you started up to now, you have to say, wow, because I believe the average person would love to have the career that you have, that you are having right now. So I got to give you mad props on that. Thank you. Yeah, I've, I've definitely been blessed to have been on – the shows and done the movies that I've done at such a young age, and I don't take it for granted at all. And I'm glad you don't. And I I think that makes people want to look up to you way more, that you're actually staying humble for what you're doing. So I just want to say once again, thank you again for what you have done and what you're continuing to do. Now, I'm not going to hold you up long because, Camille, I know you are a busy woman. Um, I have one last question for you, if you don't mind. For everyone okay. that's listening worldwide right now, what advice would you give any male or female that wants to become an actor or actress in the movie or television industry? I would, well, let me start out by saying that it is a tough business, and it is not for the faint of heart. If you have a problem with constructive criticism or any kind of criticism, then it's not for you. Um, If you hear one no and you get discouraged, then it's not for you because you will hear a hundred no's before you hear a maybe. I believe it. So, yeah, you have to be strong and you have to be persistent and make sure you have a good support system because there will be times when you just feel like nothing will ever go right for you and you you need someone to lift you up when you feel down. So definitely mm-hmm. make sure you have a good support system that will keep you motivated. And when you feel like you can't go on, they'll give you that extra push you need. And just stay positive. You know, everybody out there is wanting the same thing. There's going to be... A hundred people auditioning for that one role. And if you don't get it, that doesn't mean that you did a bad job. It just wasn't meant for you. And just, you know, keep on going. Right. That's nice. Very nice. Thank you for that. Um, Thank you. And before I let you go, Camille, I do have one more question that popped in my head. Since you mentioned that part, did you have any mentors or anyone um, that assisted you when you actually – got into the um, television and movie industry? Um, I mean, my parents have always been there for me. My mom took me to set every day, drove me to auditions, worked on the lines with me. So she definitely was my biggest supporter. Um, You know, different acting coaches that I've had through the years, my management and agents. They've all been there, my friends, too. You know, it's all about having the right team. 
Yes. Yes. And I want to say thank you. Thank you again for that advice. Camille, you have been great on the show. I would love for you to come back on the show in the future. Oh, yeah, I would love to. All right. Thank you. Well, Camille, I just want to say thank you again. Um, Big shout-outs to everybody once again that's from the Bernie Mac Show. Big shout-outs to everyone from Grey's Anatomy to 7th Heaven, everywhere that you've actually done, your um, that you actually made an appearance. Big shout-outs to all of them. Camille, I'll be watching your career, and I want to say thank you again, and I hope you have a great day. Thank you. You too. All right. Until next time, people, on the Bit Scoop with Coop. Geico presents sharing versus oversharing. Today, Bridget Griffin shared a video of her daily yoga routine, two self-help articles, and her new blog called Build Your Inner Bridge with Bridge. Girl, your sharing has turned into oversharing. No worries, Bridge. Geico has some info worth sharing with your seven blog followers, like how you could save money on your car insurance, update your policy, and report a claim just by visiting geico.com. How's that for building your inner bridge? Bridge, Geico. 15 minutes could save you 15% or more on car insurance.